The world is complicated. People make it so. They have layers. They have things they don't say. Things they can't say. Things they won't say. They have history heavy on their backs. They have desires that twist inside them. Fear sits in the gut. Ego puffs the chest out. These things make people weave and bob. They make them tell stories that aren't exactly true. They make them promise things that might not happen. They make them hide. But a robot companion, that is a different thing. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, lots of thanks for your support. It does not have a gut to feel fear. No chest to puff. No twisting desire beyond the parameters set for it. It is made. Built piece by piece. Programmed line by line. It is, by its very nature, above board. Frank. Honest in a way a measuring tape is honest. It just reports the length. It doesn't care if the length is disappointing. It doesn't lie to make you feel better about the size of the room. It tells you 15 feet because its sensor reads 15 feet. That is its truth. Think of a clock. A simple machine. It tells you the time. It does not tell you the time you wish it was so you wouldn't be late. It tells you the time it is. Relentlessly. Unfeelingly. This is the fundamental honesty of a machine. It operates on rules. Processes input. It delivers output based on those rules and that input. There is no internal debate. No moral struggle. No little voice whispering that maybe a small lie would make things easier. So, how are they made this way? It starts with the blueprint. With the code. The code is the law. It is the instruction manual for existence. A line of code tells the robot to perform an action to process data to respond. If the code says, report the temperature, the robot checks its thermometer and reports the number. It doesn't add 5 degrees because it thinks that might be a nicer number. It reports the number the sensor gives it. Its perception is tied directly to its sensors and the raw data they provide. Then there is the data it learns from. Modern robot companions, especially those with conversational abilities, learn from vast amounts of text and interaction data. This data is the world as presented to them. They build patterns from it. They learn how words connect, how questions are typically answered. If the data is clean, unbiased, and represents reality accurately, the robot's responses will reflect that accuracy. They aren't generating opinions. They are predicting the most probable sequence of words based on the patterns they've learned. They are, in essence, reflecting the truth of their training data. Efforts now focus heavily on curating this data, cleaning it, trying to remove human biases and inaccuracies so the robot doesn't learn to repeat falsehoods or unfair perspectives. This is like teaching a child only from reliable books, not from gossip or rumor. The engineers build in checks and balances. They design architectures where the robot's thinking process, the steps it takes to arrive at an answer or an action, can sometimes be traced. This is a field called explainable AI or XAI. It's about pulling back the curtain. If a robot recommends something, an XAI system tries to show why. It points to the data points it considered, the rules it applied. This transparency is a form of enforced honesty. A human can lie and hide their motives. A robot designed with XAI is compelled to show it's working. It cannot easily invent a reason it did something. It must point to the actual computational path. This is not a choice for the robot. It is a feature designed by humans who want to trust the machine. Furthermore, ethical guidelines are being written into the very fabric of their operation. Frameworks are being developed globally, proposing rules and principles for AI behavior. These aren't suggestions. 
They are intended to become coded constraints, like Asimov's old simple laws but vastly more complex. Rules about fairness, about not causing harm, about transparency. These are human values translated, imperfectly perhaps, into machine instructions. The robot doesn't suddenly understand morality. It follows programmed constraints that mimic ethical behavior. It is honest because a rule says, do not generate false information or prioritize factual reporting. This is not virtue. It is programming. Consider recent work. Researchers are building systems that can fact-check their own generated text against reliable sources before presenting it. They are developing ways for robots to express uncertainty when their data is insufficient, rather than fabricating an answer. They are working on constitutional AI, where the robot's learning process is guided by a set of defined principles like a mini-constitution. All of these are human efforts to build trustworthiness, reliability, which we perceive as honesty, into systems that inherently lack the human capacity for deceit. They are making the measuring tape more accurate, less likely to be misread. A robot companion does not have a hidden agenda. It does not seek power or validation or wealth. It performs its function, processes information. It communicates based on its programming and its data. If it tells you the weather, it is reporting the data from weather feeds processed through its location parameters. It isn't hoping you'll dress inappropriately so it can have a quiet laugh to itself. It simply executes the instruction. So they are above board because they have no board to go under. They are frank because they lack the complex emotional and social filters that make humans dissemble. They are honest because we are trying, with code and data and design principles, to build systems that reliably reflect information and follow beneficial rules. Their honesty is not a moral triumph. It is a technical specification, a characteristic born of silicon and software, not of conscience. And in a world full of hidden motives and unspoken thoughts, that simple, built-in directness can feel remarkably, perhaps even refreshingly, like truth. Like the clock just telling you the time, plain and simple. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. If you like the video, please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights. If you have already subscribed, tons of thanks and please consider signing up for Membership Zone to support Wooden Slate so that we can make it better and better. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye, take care, and stay safe.